When we discuss the future of manufacturing, it's already a foregone conclusion. What it will look like will be robots. Lots and lots of robots. Automation is critical to a sustainable future. There's no getting around it. Elon Musk is well aware of this, which is why he has been obsessed with the concept of a machine that creates machines for years. So it's no surprise that the most recent demonstration, a video of Elon Musk's humanoid Tesla bot, showed one robot physically constructing another. This is Musk's ultimate goal. This is only a sliver of an infinitely bright future. Let's see how it goes. Elon Musk came to the stage particularly to provide an update on the Tesla bot during Tesla's recent Investor Day presentation. Before we continue, please smash the like button, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel and put the notification bell on so you don't miss our next video. It was the only time Elon appeared alone during the three-hour event, with no other Tesla employees accompanying him. This emphasizes Elon's involvement in the Tesla bot as a passion project. He is in charge of the ship. We witnessed a considerably improved version of the Optimus prototype. We've seen one of these models before on stage at Tesla's AI date in 2022, but it couldn't even stand on its own at the time. The prototype had to be wheeled out in a dolly, and it just kind of feebly moved its arms and legs a little bit, not particularly impressive. Six months later, and not only can that same robot walk, but it can also pick stuff up with fully humanoid five-finger hands, including high-precision movements like pinching a nut between two fingers and then fastening it with an electric wrench. It isn't doing parkour or anything insane, but it is utilizing tools, which is an even more exciting thing for a robot to accomplish. Tesla has just demonstrated a practical real-world use case for a humanoid robot, machine construction and machine learning. Elon points out that the brain, or artificial intelligence, that drives these robots is what distinguishes the Tesla bot from all other androids we've seen before. Tesla is a world leader in practical artificial intelligence. They've created a computer brain that can operate a car, which is effectively a robot on wheels. And they're simply transferring that technology to a robot on legs since having a humanoid robot isn't really that useful. If you need a program to teach a particular motion, you'd either be limited to a set of predefined movements, or you'd need to be a coding specialist to make effective use of Elon's bot. Simply give your Tesla bot simple instructions, showing it what to do or simply telling the robot what you need, and it will handle the problem autonomously. The scale of manufacturing will be another differentiator for the Tesla bot. Tesla has already vertically integrated the design of their current Optimus prototype, according to Elon. Tesla's own powertrain engineers created each robot actuator, the same folks that designed the Model S. Its motor, computer, electronics, and battery system are all Tesla designs. So once they start making these things, they plan to manufacture a lot of robots. Most individuals are still unaware of this. They think it's a big novelty, but Elon is talking about a future where the number of robots outnumbers humans. And Elon believes this because he understands that the more Tesla bots he builds, the more capacity he'll have to build more Tesla bots. The short sequence of the bot joining the arm to another bot wasn't just a techno demo that was actually out in the open. When you look at a Tesla bot, you're seeing the future of Tesla's workforce right now. Obviously, such views of the future will strike a chord with a huge number of people who are concerned that robots will take their jobs and leave them behind. Another way to look at it is that we actually need robots to rescue the same jobs. Consider Tesla's current plan for a gigafactory in Nuevo Leon, Mexico. This is the gigafactory to end all gigafactories, with a footprint double that of Giga Texas, which is currently one of the largest structures on the planet. This is where Tesla will manufacture its next-generation cheap vehicle platform, which will produce more than 1 million units per year. According to a recent news article, this factory is the sole source of production. Tesla has already plans to produce 4 million of these vehicles each year at multiple factories around the world. This will be in addition to the S3X and Y, as well as the semi-cybertruck and robovan until Tesla achieves a volume of 20 million units per year by the end of this decade. That is enormous. We must pause for a moment to consider the significance of that figure. Toyota will produce 8 million vehicles by 2022. General Motors produced 6 million Ford and 4 million Chevrolets. Tesla's objective is to be larger than all of these automakers combined, which begs the question, is it even possible to do all of that without automation? Without Tesla knowing right now that they can automate the majority of the work that will need to be done, the idea of tremendous expansion would never even exist. They will, of course, continue to employ people, but those future jobs only exist because the robots came before. We already know that the Tesla Giga factories are full of robots and automated devices, such as enormous arms, the Giga Press, and stamping painting lines, but the limiting factor for all these machines is that they're all stationary, specialized, single-taskers. Each machine can only do one function. A fully automated manufacturing line in which each individual task is completed by a single machine is not possible. There are simply too many machines. They take up too much room and consume too many resources. You can't properly optimize for automation until you have adaptable mobile multitasking robots, which is exactly what Elon Musk is constructing. 
This isn't some sort of coded communication. It's all there in the open. And this also relates to Elon's major worry of population reduction, which he's also been very public about. Here's the deal. Our economy is predicated on the need for limitless expansion. Our collective need for stuff must expand year after year, which means our capacity to manufacture stuff must likewise increase in tandem with that demand. If either of these two forces slows or fails to increase, we will face an extremely immediate economic disaster. It isn't perfect. We're like Keanu Reeves driving a fast bus. It makes no difference how hard we want to get off this ride. We burst if we slow down the issue. What has already begun and will only worsen over time is that our need for the new things is increasing faster than our supply of human beings. We're not creating babies anymore to perform the jobs that make this stuff we consume, and that's my fault. I'm one of those childless 30-somethings who is wrecking everything, so I'll take some of the blame. But we do need something to compensate for my lack of procreation since if productivity or GDP ever fails, even for a short period of time, say six months to a year, we end up in a recession, which we're all too familiar with. We are currently in our second recession in less than 20 years, but if productivity continues to decline, we will eventually fall into a depression, something we haven't seen in a long time. But for what I've heard, it was very bad, and if we can't get out of this funk, I'm not sure what follows next. But I guess the word could be the apocalypse. People wonder why Tesla would create a humanoid robot. Isn't there a better way to design? Well, no, not at all. Nature and evolution took billions of years to bring us to our current position as the dominant species on Earth. We are neither the strongest nor the fastest animal. It's difficult to say if we're the brightest, but we are by far the most versatile and broadly capable design in the known universe, so we should just imitate that, which implies we now have an economic system in which a person and robot are directly equatable. One robot equals X amount of human labor capacity. Remember that we need to increase rather than replace human labor, so if we can integrate these robots into an existing workforce, we can boost productivity without making any other changes to the way a firm functions. Inflation can be solved by increasing productivity. If the quality of goods increases, prices will fall. Cheaper goods indicate that people want to consume more. We can stop the cycle of inflation and deflation as long as we continue to grow production to fulfill demand without rising costs. This is the issue that has drained the North American industrial sector dry throughout the decades. Companies were unable to sustain the business models without raising productivity or cutting costs, prompting them to pack up and relocate their manufacturing activities to other parts of the world with lower operating expenses. The only way to halt this trend and preserve what little domestic manufacturing we still have, or to even dream of growing it back to what it was in the mid-20th century, we accomplish this through automation. Tesla is currently developing a model on how to accomplish this. What they're about to do at Giga Mexico is something that any manufacturing corporation anywhere in the globe can copy. Automated production with an autonomous robotic workforce will be reproduced because there is no other way to meet our need for continual growth. That does not include a race to the bottom. That results in absolute disaster for everyone, and if you don't believe me, examine the self-checkout queue at your local grocery shop, which everyone despises. They don't like doing labor that used to be done for them for free, but consider what your grocery store experience would be like right now without the self-checkout. It's not like they just hire more cashiers. There are no longer any cashiers. There is no one out there who wants to do work at a grocery shop but isn't able to find work. They have the necessary qualifications. There are no restrictions. You'd be standing in queue for half an hour if it weren't for the self-checkout. You attempt to exit the grocery shop, which is not sustainable. The supermarket sector would collapse in a couple of months and society would accept it. So we need robots for better or worse. There's no way around it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click down below and leave me a comment about which supercar you prefer to have. Thanks for watching.